How many bags do we have? This is part of the downsizing process. We're getting rid of some things now to get things cleared out so we can go ahead and move into the camper. <laughs> Uh, Mostly for me and Zoe's closets. Some of the stuff's mine too. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that all of them? You're kidding. How much? Oh my god. Woo! Open the hatch again, babe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd probably hit the button. This is comical. Are those the last two? <laughs> we really got all of that crap out of our closets. Yeah. Wow. I'm supposed to all fit in the closet. This is it. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Round one of what I'm sure will be many more of the decluttering. Wish us luck, folks. <laughs> and whenever you do that you get a ticket and you can write the donations off on your taxes so even though you're not selling the stuff, you're still getting money back. Well, we just got rid of a lot of stuff at the Goodwill. And that helps clean things out a little bit. Uh, we've got some major changes coming soon. Uh, there's a lot more stuff to get rid of, but um, we're really looking forward to it uh, so that we can downsize and move into the camper. This is definitely gonna be an adventure. Um, we're trying to jump in with most feet and see what happens so we're going to take you along on these adventures that we're having and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Here's getting paint for the cabinets. So we had some kind of an antique -y white color that they're matching for us so hopefully we're going to be painting some cabinets really soon. We ordered a sprayer yesterday so Amazon is awesome and hopefully that will be there probably this evening. They're very similar, actually. It's different kinds of material, but I'm going more with that one. I think but. I agree. Folks, these are the floor samples we've been debating. Paint will be something like this. So that's the feel that we're going for. So more to be seen. We'll see how it turns out. Well, the time has come to finally start painting. So we're going to get started. Uh, hopefully by the end, this is going to look a whole lot different, a whole lot better. By the way, I'm using Valspar High Gloss Enamel. Uh, we got the color matched, the exact same color that we did the door earlier. So uh, everything's going to blend together very well.
try to be master of none. Just to let you know. <laughs> be painting the hardware. Um, it's that brass color. Right now we're going to be painting it black. And to do that, I screwed all of the hardware onto this board so that it would stand up so I wouldn't have to flip it or anything like that. And uh, we wanted the screws to match too, so that's why we're also using the screws to uh, hold it on there so when we spray, we can spray the screws as well. And uh, so everything will be matching uniformly. You ever heard that term? It's like watching paint dry. That's me right now. And it's still not dry yet. Okay, the painting's finally done in the dining section I think it looks pretty nice and we'll be putting the TV back over here and putting in some curtains we're going to go with curtains instead of um, the cornice thing but uh, everything's been painted and we're not worried about the floor because we're going to be putting in a new floor anyway as you can see, we've already done the dining area. Now we're going to tackle the kitchen area. Uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. There it goes. Okay. See, the cornice is down. The cornice is staying down. Yeah, we're not putting those back up, guys. Ugh. I think curtains are more attractive. Just regular curtains. And easier to install. <laughs> Sorry, honey. difficult thing I've ever had to deal with as far as paint. Uh, it's very difficult to get in between there, but I've got it masked off in between. And so uh, I, I, I was just in, had just enough space there to get the brush back there and actually get the primer on there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the paint, but I wanted to roll as much as I could. I have to say I'm really proud of Lisa for getting rid of some of the kitchen gadgets that we don't use. Uh, she did very well. So we're decluttering more and more. We're not used to having this much snow in North Carolina. We've gone through winters before without a single snowflake and this winter we've already gotten uh, plenty of snow. And there's CC. Now the upper part of the kitchen is done. We'll be working on the lower half later. 
that's all we're able to do for this week. Stay tuned, we'll keep you updated on our progress.